Hi. In the early 1940s, scientists and lens designers at Kodak, a world-famous camera maker, started experimenting with mixing rare earth elements into their lenses. After a series of tests, they found out that by adding thorium to glass, they can improve quality of images produced. Not long after, other companies followed, and as a result, many vintage lenses produced between 1940s and 1970s contain thorium, which makes them radioactive. Thorium oxide was added to lenses due to its optical properties, such as high refractivity and low dispersion, which allowed to minimize chromatic aberrations. Some companies experimented also with lanthanum, however these lenses weren't so widely manufactured as thorium ones and they don't have significant activity, since only a very small percentage of natural lanthanum is radioactive. Lenses containing thorium often are pretty spicy in terms of their radioactivity and they can easily reach tens of thousands of CPM on a pancake probe, which can sound scary at first, but in reality, they are 100% safe to use. Thorium and its decay products emit alpha, beta and gamma radiation. Alpha and beta particles are easily stored by the glass itself, as well as the metal body of the lens. However, there is a small amount of gamma radiation leaking through. So, should we be worried? Not at all. The amount of gamma radiation leaking from the lens is actually smaller than standing next to granite bricks, which contain natural uranium. This being said, I wouldn't leave the lens mounted on a camera for a long period of time simply to reduce the amount of radiation exposure to the sensor. One of the most characteristic features of radioactive lenses, besides their radioactivity, is their yellow tint. This is caused by radiation alternating the atomic structure of glass, turning it from clear to yellow. This yellowing can be easily reversed by exposing the lens to a UV light for a few hours, but I personally do enjoy the warmer color it produces, so I'll leave mine as it is. A yellowed glass is a good indicator for a lens being radioactive, however, it can be misleading. As mentioned earlier, some people decide to restore their lenses to their original form by removing the yellowing from glass. During my research, I have also found some lenses with yellowed glass that did not contain thorium. So if you want to get a radioactive lens, I would suggest visiting your local flea market and bringing a small Geica counter with you. As expected, a gamma spectroscopy of my Takumar SMC lens showed a very characteristic thorium-232 spectrum. If you're into photography, I highly recommend trying out some vintage radioactive lenses since they produce very unique pictures and have a certain character to them. And if you're just looking for some radioactive artifacts, there are very interesting pieces of history that make a fantastic check source. So no matter if you're a photographer or a radioactive antique hunter, they are worth adding to your collection. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee. And remember, stay active.